Welcome back. We are here today with a speed build of a community lot, which is going to be a pool. So I'm really excited about that. I don't currently have a pool in my Let's Play for my Sims to go hang out at, so we really need one. And here it is. It is pretty family friendly. There is a bar, but it also has like a children's area. So um, there's plenty to do for Sims of all ages. And I could not decide where to put the pool at first, so I was like, I will put the pool in the space that is not anything else. <laughs> so here is the main building. This is where you walk in. And there will be a little indoor children's area and then a um, blocker room, like, you know, with the, sh the showers and the toilets and the sinks. So that's where that is going to be. And... I guess I can't call it a locker room because there's no lockers. It's a bathroom. <laughs> um, and we are just doing the outside right now. So it does have a like black and white theme. And I was really trying to figure out what I was going to do for fences. And I wanted the fence to be black since we have our columns being black. So that's what we went with. And we want this fence right here. And then we are going to put in some windows. I'm actually going to flip around the whole thing in just a minute. I was originally going to put the locker room. I said I wasn't going to call it a locker room. Um, <laughs> the bathroom on the right side and the children's corner on the left side. But I decided to switch it around so that the children's area, you could walk right out until the outdoor children's area as well. So that's why we're going to flip it around in just a second. But for right now, we are going to realize that right about now I want to say yeah this is where we figure that out and then just move around all the windows and do that so then we are going to have a lot of stuff to do on this lot there's going to be like I said a children's area with a slip and slide and a little kiddie pool and then like um you know those areas where the water shoots out of the ground that the kids play in one of those and then plenty of like little pergola areas where people can just sit and relax in the shade and then um, the bar and a big seating area and then a jacuzzi and the pool itself so there is a lot here there's also plenty of towels down so we'll get to that in just a second but i just wanted to put the uh, like a carpet on this area over here because i mean the rest of it's tile and like you know you don't want kids to play on the floor on tile so Put down a carpet and then we will move on to the locker room that I, ugh. okay we're just going to call it a locker room because i can't stop myself <laughs> so here are the toilets and there's going to be three of them actually and then um we are going to have we're going to have to make this room a little bigger actually because i wanted to make the shower stalls like their own room so that we didn't uh, have your sims getting embarrassed about showering in front of other sims so that's what we did there and we're just having our three sinks and our little uh, mirrors and then um, a little like rack with towels and stuff on it and i did also want you to be able to like say have a birthday party or something here so i did leave a couple tables available that didn't have anything on them so if you wanted to place a birthday cake on that table you could so that is also there. And then here are the, the little shower rooms. So I'm just going to have one of them be a, say maybe like a handicapped or um, stall or maybe like a stall that you want to bathe your toddler, whatever you call it. So that's what we're going to have. And then two standing showers. And then over here... We are going to have the children's area. I'm just pulling out everything that I think that we might want to have in this area. So I'm just pulling out a bunch of different things. And then we will organize them in just a second. So I put the tent and the dollhouse up against the walls. And then a little reading nook. And then the puppet thing. And then our toy chest. And in the middle, a little gaming table. And then some couches along this wall. Say parents want to watch their kids play. You know keep an eye on them so some couches I was originally thinking maybe putting a front desk but I I just decided not to because it's not functional in the Sims so I didn't want to put something unnecessary I found that lately I've been trying to cut 
things from my game that aren't functional um, because I've had a lot of lag and I've had a lot of really, really long loading screens. So I'm trying to, I guess my computer is not really up to specification. So I'm trying to make it easier on my computer, but also still nice, you know? So we're filling up this wall with different crafts and garnishes and flags and a uh, community board type thing. And then of course, some like nautical themed items just to make sure we drive this, you know, pool theme home. So that's what we're doing over here. And then in the corner here, I put like this, this, like, I don't know what that is, like a soccer t-shirt and then the trophies. So say like maybe the swim team practices here or something like the local swim team and they have awards or trophies and stuff. So that's what the idea is there. And then we are heading outside. So like I said, the children's area, you exit that and it kind of opens up into like an outdoor children's area. So there's the slip and slide there and then the kiddie pool here. And then the ultimate struggle, which is trying to figure out what shape to make this platform. But I do just end up having to draw it myself. So there is that. And then we can, um, you know, make it go up and then we will add in some fountain items. So here we go. And yeah, I was trying to decide how best to do this because I don't feel like tile would go under a slip and slide, but I don't know. We're just going to keep it. So that is what is going on here. Then we're going to make a little diagonal and um, yeah, it took me a while to find where they put this now, but here it is. So I just put some like drains around and then the little fountains and then these like cute little froggy fountain things just because, you know, it's for kids. So might as well. And then this way is the pergola area. So there'll be pergolas and they will have different seating arrangements inside of them. So it actually did take me a minute to find them as well because I forgot what they were called. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what it's called. And also I don't know what section it would be under. So I think it's under MISC. Yeah. So anyway, here they are. And I'm just going to put them all in a row down this way. And then each one is going to get a different little seating area. So say like a, you know, uh, each one is a individual space. So it's available for whoever. And, you know, like you would say that, like, say a family could take up one of these spaces. So that's what the goal is here. And then um, I tried to diversify them. So that one has the rounded couches and then this one has a couple of chairs and then we break out the lounge chairs just to make that nice and then a couple more couches and then a couple more lounge chairs so that's what we did there and I tried to pull out like drink trays and stuff like that to make it nice and yeah here's this little like lighting basket thing and then some music and we're just going to get the fence to go all the way around here and here comes the pool so I'm just drawing the pool shape I do change it in a minute a little bit just shave some off of it but um, this is what we have here and I put like these waterfall things in the back just to make it you know, look nice up against the edge. And, you know, I just really vividly remember going to like water parks and stuff and loving the pools that had these little water fountain moments. So I really do enjoy that. And then, yeah, I'm just going to cut off this awkward end piece here. So that's what we'll do. And then um, we are going to put in some lighting just so that you can see everything, your sims can see everything at nighttime. And then we'll change the flooring and the wallpaper of the pool itself before going to our little seating area. So you come out the door and there's this little seating area and then the bar will be to the right. 
So here are the tables with the umbrellas. And then I was just kind of looking for a nice chair, but I did end up going with the outdoor chair anyway. So here that is. And then I'm just going to readjust these a little bit. And then the, the bar is also going to be on a platform to the right here. So that's what we're doing um, in a minute. But first, I'm just going to put down a row of towels just to, um, you know, say for outdoor lounging purposes. So there that is. We're just going to change the patterns on those before we go in for the bar area. And I was debating whether or not to put down a fire pit, but I was like, okay, we need to, at some point we need to stop. <laughs> at some point it's too many things. So there is that. And then here is the platform and I'm noticing the fence heights get different based on the platform, but you know what? I don't care. So moving on, we are going to put down the bar and the bar stools and then just a couple of high top tables and then some decorations across here. There we go. And you can put your birthday cake on any of these tables. Not the ones with the umbrella because you have to put the cake in the center. So then over here, we're just going to put the jacuzzi down in the corner and call it good. So that is that. And we will head into screenshots right about now. So here are screenshots and I really think that it turned out great. I really um, enjoy this wall here with all the items on it and the little children's corner. So definitely family friendly, a place you can take your Sims and definitely a place to hang around and play at. So I had a lot of fun building this. It didn't take that long, but um, you know, I just, I like building community lots. So I thought it was a lot of fun and We'll just take a couple of looks at the pool before we look at our top down screenshots. So that will be all for today. I hope that you enjoyed and we'll catch you guys in the next one.